Hey guys, so this is part four and um, we are going to be talking about what's next for our DBQ. So after we uh, go through all of our documents and do our understanding, uh, the question in the pre-bucketing, now we're going to be doing the essay builder. So when we get to the essay builder, there are about three steps and then writing your final essay. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be organizing our buckets or basically unpacking and getting getting ready to write, getting our ideas together and organized. So at this point, like I said, we have our documents A, C, and D. And I told you that you can either choose to say like um, you can do alliances, militarism, and nationalism, or you can do documents A, B, and C, or I'm sorry, A, C, and D, or you can do causes one, two, and three. I just showed you an example of each here so that you know whatever options that's, uh, that is best for you, you can do. So, but what I want to show you is that when you go to the right here, when you click on document A, it shows you the document and all of your answers that you would have answered, okay? Or if you did the highly scaffolded form, your answers that you placed in here, okay? Looking back, you want to make sure that you're choosing the correct document to go with the correct uh, title for your body paragraph. So for example, document A is about alliances. So I need to make sure that my document is going to support my alliances paragraph. Document C, okay, is going as about the growth of um, and the money within the Navy and the Army in different countries. So we know that that's going to go under document C or militarism if you choose that to be militarism, okay, or document D, which is the speech Okay, that will go under the last bucket, okay, the cause number three, nationalism, or if you choose that just to say document D, whichever way you organized it, okay, you just need to make sure it matches the title. When you go down, you're just creating your thesis, okay, this is where you'll write your thesis, this is really, it says your thesis is what you're going to argue in this paper and it must answer the DBQ or mini Q question, which would be, what was the underlying causes of World War I? Okay, that's your thesis. Okay, here it just shows you how you have your alliances, um, your document C or your cause three, your three buckets that go and support that. So when we move to the next page, this is unpacking the buckets and extracting the evidence. So basically, this is where you start to get really into detail with your information for each paragraph. This is where you get start to get your text evidence, start to really support your um, paragraphs in your topic and you put in exact information. So again, you can click on your document, see what you wrote, and you'd copy and paste what you wrote in the boxes here and put it here. So I'm just going to put text evidence. That's where you'd start to do. I do about three bullets for each section here. So you have three text evidence samples for each paragraph. And then finally, this one you're going to start and it may roll over into Wednesday, but this is where you really start and use a graphic organizer for your essay. So here's your introduction where it talks about your grabber, your background, which would obviously be World War I, restatement of the question, and then your thesis and roadmap, and then you build that paragraph. You put it all together. Then you go to the first body paragraph, your evidence, your argument, and then you build it all together and so on and so forth. And it'll bring you to your conclusion. This will bring you that you'll start this on Monday and hopefully as you work Tuesday, uh, the rest of Monday and then Tuesday and then bring it into Wednesday. Wednesday is when you're going to be working on your final essay, which is this last tab here. Okay, where you'll type it right in to this box. You'll take the information from the previous tab and just really get uh, your final copy done. So um, like I said, this is what you're working on on Monday because this is the next B day that we see you. So you need to make sure that you are working really hard, organizing your thoughts, getting all of your information together to really be able to get your um, final essay done for Wednesday right before spring break. Okay, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. I can help you out with anything. Email, uh, Google Hangout, whatever you need. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.